Today, we're going to break down a pretty incredible forecast for the future of AI and video. We're drawing from a really deep research report that maps out where all of this is heading by 2030, and it covers everything from AI's ability to create video to its power to understand it. Let's get right into it. I mean, really think about that for a second. Your idea for a short film, a training video, an entire episode, you just type it into a prompt and out comes a high quality video. This is the scale of change we are looking at. And the report we're digging into today makes it clear, this isn't just some wild guess. It's a predictable outcome based on the tech being built as we speak. So to really wrap our heads around this future, we first need to understand that there are two parallel frontiers for AI in video. You've got generation on one side and analysis on the other. The report calls them the dual horizons, and here's the kicker. While they're both moving forward, one is moving much, much faster than the other. Okay, so on one side, you have generative AI. This is the one that gets all the headlines, right? It's all about creating brand new video from a prompt. But on the other side, you have analytical AI, which is all about understanding existing video content and doing it at a massive scale. The crucial thing to get is that they're in what you could call an asymmetrical race. Generation is the flashy sprinter, for sure, but analysis, it's quietly running a marathon, and it is way, way ahead. Just look at where we are right now, in 2025. The generative scene is absolutely exploding. You've got OpenAI's Sora, which smashed through the one-minute barrier and gave us multi-shot consistency. Then Google's VO3 came along and added synchronized audio into the mix. But what's really interesting is that not everyone is playing the same game. You've got others, like Runway, who are focusing way more on giving creators fine-tuned control rather than just generating longer clips. So everyone is pushing forward just in slightly different directions. And this number? This is where that asymmetry really hits you. While the generative models are celebrating making a one-minute video, analytical AI can already process and understand six hours of video in a single go. Think about that. It's the difference between being able to write a single page versus being able to read and comprehend an entire novel. AI's ability to understand is just vastly outpacing its ability to create. Okay, so you're probably wondering, a one-minute clip is cool, but a 30-minute film? How on earth do we get there? Well, this forecast isn't just a guess. It's built on two really predictable technological blueprints that are already in motion. The first big blueprint is a major shift towards something called world models. So instead of an AI just learning what a bouncing ball looks like from thousands of videos, a world model actually learns the physics behind the bounce. You know, gravity, cause and effect, the fact that objects don't just disappear. It's learning the fundamental rules of our world. And here's the easiest way to think about the difference. The models we have now, diffusion models, are incredible at matching patterns. They're like an artist who can perfectly copy any style you show them, but they don't really get the rules. That's why you'd see those early demos where someone takes a bite of a cookie, but the cookie doesn't have a bite mark. It looks right, but it's logically wrong. World models, on the other hand, are more like physicists. They learn the rules of reality first, and then they generate a video that follows those rules. This is the absolute secret to creating long, coherent videos where the world makes sense from start to finish. The second piece of the puzzle is that AI's progress has become really predictable, and it's all governed by what are called scaling laws. Basically, these laws prove that AI performance gets reliably better the more you scale up the model size, the training data, and the raw computing power. So progress isn't about random breakthroughs anymore. It's become more of an engineering discipline. More power in, better results out. And this isn't just some theoretical idea. This is the hard number that the entire 2030 forecast is anchored on. There are massive international projects, like Japan's Fugakunex supercomputer, being built right now with the specific goal of delivering up to a 100-fold increase in AI performance by 2030. That incredible boost in computing power is the fuel that will make these scaling laws a reality. Okay, so you put those two things together. Smarter world models and literally 100 times more power? What does that actually get you on the creative side by 2030? Here it is. This is the headline prediction. We're going from today's one-minute clips, which sometimes have some quirky physics, to generating an entire episode of a show or a detailed short film all in one go. And we're talking full 4K with perfectly synced dialogue, sound effects, and music. It will all be internally consistent because it's being simulated by a world model, not just kind of stitched together clip by clip. Now, look, generating a 30-minute video is, well, it's mind-blowing. But believe it or not, that's not even the most dramatic part of this forecast. 
the progress on the other side of the coin, AI's ability to understand video, is going to be even more extreme. This is where that asymmetry we talked about gets really wide. Just let that sink in for a moment. An AI that can effectively binge watch and understand an entire day's worth of video at once. Imagine telling an AI, hey, watch all 10 seasons of Friends and give me a complete breakdown of Rachel's character arc with specific examples. That's the kind of deep narrative level understanding we're talking about. Entire video archives will become instantly searchable. So let's just put this side by side. On the generative side, we're looking at a huge 30-fold leap in length. But on the analytical side, we're jumping from an already massive six hours to over 24. Both are growing like crazy, but our ability to understand content is going to stay leagues ahead of our ability to create it. And that gap, well, that's where things get really interesting. See, these two capabilities, generation and analysis, they don't just exist in their own separate lanes. They actually feed each other. The report calls it the AI flywheel effect, and it creates this amazing virtuous cycle that just accelerates everything. It's a really simple but powerful loop. Here's how it works. First, an AI analyzes a massive amount of existing content to figure out what works and what doesn't. Then it pulls out those lessons as structured data. And that data is then used to fuel the generative AI to create new content that's even better and more targeted. And then, of course, that new content gets analyzed and the cycle just keeps repeating, getting smarter every single time. So what does this look like in the real world? Well, imagine an AI analyzing a feature film and then, boom, instantly generating thousands of unique trailers, each one personally tailored to a specific viewer's taste. Or an AI that can scan an entire archive of old footage and automatically remaster it to modern standards. The analysis of what is directly powers the generation of what could be. So you add it all up, this huge leap in creation, the even bigger leap in understanding, and this flywheel that spins it all faster and faster, what you get is, well, a fundamental restructuring of the entire content world. We're talking brand new workflows, new jobs, and totally new business models. And probably the biggest shift is what this means for the role of the human creator. For decades, a lot of creative value was tied to mastering complicated software. You know, being a great VFX artist or a genius video editor. But in this 2030 world, the AI is going to handle most of that technical work. The human's value shifts from being the hands on the keyboard to being the strategic orchestrator, the one with the vision who directs the AI. I mean, this quote from the research just nails it. It's not going to be about what buttons you can press. It's going to be about how clearly you can communicate your creative vision to your AI collaborator. It's a huge shift from hands-on craft to high-level creative direction. And of course, with new workflows come totally new economies. Instead of buying software licenses, companies might subscribe to powerful AI models. We're going to see the rise of new AI native studios that can create amazing content at a speed and cost that traditional companies just can't match. And maybe the most exciting part? This technology will truly democratize filmmaking, giving an individual creator with a great idea the power of a whole studio on their laptop. But this all leads us to one final massive question. The report projects that by 2030, something like 90% of all content online could be, at least in part, generated by AI. So when creating high quality content becomes easy and cheap, what's actually valuable anymore? The old metrics like production polish, they start to matter less. The new challenge won't be about making things. It'll be about making things that matter. In a sea of synthetic media, the things that will truly stand out are genuine human vision, a unique voice, and authenticity. This special episode of the AI Daily Deep Dive podcast was researched by Gemini Deep Research and is fully AI-generated.